I've got a 2004 Jayco Class C motorhome. I'm wanting to upgrade to the keyless entry with this. However, this uh, original lock does not have the deadbolt integrated into it. They added the deadbolt up here. When you look at this, it has the addition of this slot here, which this door does not have. And also the door jam um, on this does not have this square. So I'm going to need to modify it because that deadbolt has to go in that slot. Take a look at this door. It does not have the cutout. I've traced out the square where I'm going to have to modify this in order to make it work. See right here I've traced the uh, square. So I'm going to have to remove this and, and add this. But the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that that door lock fits in this hole. So I removed the two screws and now this has come off. This one just screws off. Every, every one of them is a little bit different. Then I have to remove these two screws here. The old door latch out, all I need to do is see if the keyless entry one will fit. And it looks like it does. So it fits in there. Let's see how it shuts. It seems to shut pretty good. So in order to replace this, I have to go in behind the door jam. I'm going to remove this strip here, this trim. So my thinking was is to remove some screws um, enough to pull back on this door frame so as not to have to remove the whole thing because it actually does uh, hold the door in as well. There we go. I can replace it with this one. You can see the difference. And also, there will need to be some trimming of the door frame because the deadbolt needs to go right in this area. So I'll have to cut this out and then drill a new hole right there at the top. So it's going to go somewhere like that. So what I've done is I've lined this, this up. I've drilled a pilot hole where the top screw is going to go and I'll enlarge that. And then what I'll do is I'll slip this in behind the door jam and then it will show me exactly where I need to cut the square out. I'll, but it is going to be right in that area. So I'm going to have to trim back part up to where this hump is. So what I'm going to use is this Dremel and a uh, heavy duty cutoff wheel. So make sure you use the heavy duty when working with uh, metal because they're just going to break. So that should give me enough room to get this in there. Since I scraped uh, most of the old butyl tape is I'm just going to put a uh, another layer back there and screw it back in. So now I'm pretty much done with the door jam. I'm going to start working on the door itself. I've pulled out the old door lock and that's the area that I need to cut. And since that area is just a little bit too um, small for my Dremel, I'm afraid it's just really not going to, it's going to be too big. I'm just going to drill along the, uh, the cutout and then see where I, I end up. So now I have the lock completely in there and um, the cutout is done. And then here is the door jam. And it works pretty good actually.
This is the keyless entry box just to show you which model I have. 